Hey everybody, it's Laurie and Mark from Gables on the Go. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> We're finally back. Uh, we've been busy, busy, busy. We actually found a house to buy down here in the Keys after renting for two years. And we actually have a day to go out on the boat. Imagine <laughs> finally, that. <laughs> finally. We haven't shot a video in 45 days, I think Ooh, it's been. That's been a long time. We've been super busy, guys, getting, uh, trying to get in the house, get the house ready. Uh, we had to make a trip up to Georgia. Laurie's mom is a little ill and she needed to spend some time with her mom. I yeah. went up there for a little while as well. So we've just been super busy. We're sorry we haven't brought you a video lately, but we're going to try to fix that. Yep. And uh, kind of take you uh, on our little new adventure with our <laughs> new house. Uh, well, actually, old house that we're fixing up. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're going to take you along with that. But today, we're going to take a break and go out on the boat for the first time in a long time. Yes. So yeah. we're headed down a canal right now where we live. And we're going to come across this big dive boat. And we're going to show you that you actually can pass by this, which <laughs> I thought you couldn't do that <laughs> with the space we have. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, we got the dive boat this coming boat. in. <laughs> Here it is. And you can see this canal. It's actually bigger than it looks. It just feels like when you see a boat that big, it kind of feels like it's um, taking up most all of it now. Oh, looks like they've been out for a cruise to Lou Key Reef. I think so. The pup got to go too. Oh, that's awesome. The combo cap. You can see, we got lots of space here. Well, with a professional captain like <laughs> Mr. Gable. And you can see this canal has a lot of mangroves and natural foliage, which gives a lot of privacy for a lot of places, considering a lot of the canals in Marathon are very wide open and um, hey, you might want sea to walls. Mm -hmm. you might want to Ow! Oh. <laughs> mm. What you did? It was a brush! Stumped your toe? I, no, I kicked it with my heel when I was backing up. Sorry. Yeah, so here's another thing we didn't mention, guys. We're not in Marathon anymore. Uh, we are down in Ramrod Key, which is... Uh, much closer to Key West. We're only about 25 miles from Key West here in our new neighborhood. Uh, but we're on Ramrod, which is a little bit past Big Pine if you're coming down from Marathon. So, uh, but we're on the Atlantic side. Our little house is on the water, on the canal. And this canal we're going down goes directly out to the Atlantic Ocean, which mm -hmm. is pretty nice. That is. Yeah, and on the back side, on the Gulf side behind us over there, uh, if you watched our video from, I don't know, last year sometime, where we did all the drone footage with Laurie's daughter Gracie on the boat of the Content Keys, that's right behind our house on the Gulf side. So we're only about 10 miles from the Content Keys, seven or 10 miles from the Content Keys from here. So we've got a lot of different boating opportunities down here in this new area we are with all the beautiful flats and backcountry and mangroves behind us and of course the reef out in front of us and uh, we've got Lou Key Reef which is uh, absolutely gorgeous didn't didn't really know how big and pretty Lou Key Reef is but it's it's really pretty so hopefully we can bring you some videos from there when we're doing some uh, snorkeling or diving out there I am super excited to yes. go to Content Keys when we find out how to get there. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a long skinny run back through there. Um, this boat, this catamaran we've got only drafts about 15 inches, so it does run pretty skinny for a larger boat or a 26 foot boat. But um, yeah, it's it gets pretty shallow back there. You can be running along in three or four feet of water and then all of a sudden be in a foot to six inches before you know it. So you really have to watch where you're going. And I don't know my way around back there yet, but I'll learn That's for right. sure. The word is yet. Yet. We're going to learn. 
It just we takes will some time. Learn. And it's interesting that a lot of these little uh, places back here have boat ramps. Now, they're not very long boat ramps, so it's kind of hard to put anything big in because the boat ramp will drop off real quick and you can't, you know, let your trailer fall in the water like that. Um, but you could put in some smaller skiffs and um, little small Boston whalers or Craig cats like we have one of those. We'll have to show you when we get back the little Craig cat we have. Hey, and I wanted to say, Mark and I both want to say thank you for checking in on us, for all those viewers who are loyal fans. We really appreciate it. Um, sorry, it's just been a real hectic time with uh, my mom and trying to be in Georgia, helping take care of her, making a transition to buying a house and trying to get moved in and selling real estate as well. So we've just been super busy. Things have slowed down a little bit <clears throat> with real estate, um, just because it's that time of year, everybody's going back to school. It's, you know, September and people are not on vacation as much and inspired as much to move after that happens, but it's still a hot market. So if you're looking for a place in the Keys, just get in touch with us. Mark or I both can, either one can help you and we'll be glad to do that and you can find our number above in the description below oh in the description below <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, yep, yep yep so this is a one-way channel it says no two-way traffic <clears throat> so you have to make sure nobody's coming in when you're headed out very fortunate to have it it is called picnic island so a lot of people come out here with their boats anchor up get out sandbar hang out on the little island um, this is captain jacks as we've been told and this fellow lives out here on this boat and lots of people come to visit him and uh, very interesting character so we've heard we haven't met him yet personally <laughs> Um, and I hear he has a dog that lives out there with him. And I think the dog just swims up to Picnic Island when he needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Everybody puts signs up in the trees up there, nails up their sign and their name and where they're from and how far it is to their death to the where they're from. Their home port, so to speak. <laughs> kinda, I guess we're going to have to Kind of cool. Put Although I wish they would not jump up the island so much. I don't mind the signs, but the old grills and trash and junk that people drag up there, that's yeah. a shame. Well, maybe we can have a cleanup day soon and get out there and drag some of that junk back and yeah. get it rid get rid of it. Yep. And we need to put a Gables on the Go sign up there too. We do. <laughs> All right, let's continue. All right. All right, we just found our neighbors. They live right down the canal from us. They have what's called the Freaky Tiki. It is a pontoon boat that they've actually put a whole tiki hut on top of with a bambooed in bathroom stall in the back, which is super cool for us ladies. And um, they take cruises out here with their friends and I'm assuming just free. <laughs> yeah. He's got a big stereo system on that with big speakers on the front. Ultimate, I had a hard time zooming in there. If I can get it any tighter, you guys can see. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. We have Little Palm Island, which is a very unique and um, expensive expensive <laughs> place to stay, but it is yep. beautiful. It is beautiful and um, very well manicured and top of the line, everything. It has a little sandbar out in front of it, a little beachy area, and you have to take a boat to get there. So uh, if you're interested in it, you can look it up on online. I think Little Palm Island. Yeah, if you guys basically. look up Little Little Palm Little Palm Resort or Little Palm Island uh, in the Florida Keys, the, uh, the place is pretty dang amazing. Uh, pretty 
dang amazingly expensive too, but. Well, it is, and you know there's no Wi-Fi. You're not supposed to use your phone out there or TVs or any kind of technology because they want you to totally relax while you're staying there and just chill out. Look at how gorgeous this water is. Oh my gosh. Crystal clear. I don't think the camera's ever gonna do this justice. <laughs> Beautiful. Zoom in and hold it still. <laughs> So we are anchored up at Lou Key Reef and uh, guys this is one of the one of the most popular um, diving and snorkeling spots in the Florida Keys. Um, there's a lot of great spots here obviously but this is one of the most popular and uh, as you can see from all the boats out here today it's a rather large area too but just look at how gorgeous this water is. We're actually in about eight feet of water here, and it looks like we're in about two feet. Uh, the water's so clear. But you can see they put these buoys out here that you can moor up to. They're anchored to rock on the bottom. And uh, just tie your boat up out here, and then get out and snorkel and swim around and have a great time. Laurie's down there looking for our gear. I found a pair of goggles. <laughs> <laughs> we got like 20 pairs of goggles. We left at them home, all at the house. And another pair of goggles <laughs> and some balls. Yep. Some life jackets. Is there a diver down flag down there? Yep. Got it. Yeah. You always want to put up your diver down flag. Yep. Let everybody know that you have people in the water. That's right. That's right. You guys got to you got to come down to the Florida Keys and come out here to Lou Key Reef. There's a bunch of uh, charters that come out here, dive boats, everything. You can get a ride out of uh, Big Pine, Little Torch, um, the little surrounding keys there, and come out here for a day on the water. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day out here, babe. It sure is. Mm, water is gorgeous. Pretty, pretty. So we have a little strategy for when we go snorkeling. We throw a ski rope out there in the water, put it on the cleat on the boat, and that way you can hold on to it if there's too much current or if you just want to relax and not have to swim. Yep. You just hang on and you sit on or get one of these little guys on underneath you and you can just float to your heart's content. That's right. Or dive down and tie the little thingamabob yeah if you're down here if you're down here on your boat i highly recommend the ski rope about 100 feet out behind your boat because sometimes the current can pull through here pretty quick and you'll find yourself swept out there a few hundred feet and then it's not the easiest swim back against the current so <laughs> nope. get you a 100 feet or so of ski rope throw it out behind your boat and you can just hang on to it and mm -hmm. float around on top or snorkel down when you want to yeah it makes it handy all right well let's try to get in the water yeah, yeah. I am going to take my sunglasses off, since so I'm going to put goggles on. Okay. 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 
warm? Cold? Oh yeah, it's nice. Is it? Uh-huh. It's not it's not warm like bath water or anything. No? Not like a sandbar. But it's comfortable? But very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay! And then you grab the ski rope. And untangle it. <laughs> and untangle it. Exactly. So we're at a new place. Where are we? <laughs> That's American Shell of Light. Pretty, isn't it? It is. It's really cool looking. There's water around. It's gorgeous. And we're out here diving, snorkeling. Look how pretty that water is. So it looks like you can just throw an anchor out. You don't need to tie up to a fall. I guess. We need to check the regulations out here. Mm -hmm. All this is new to us, so we don't know, know this water like we did down in Marathon. It sure is clear and pretty. Well, I guess in our case, up in Marathon. <laughs> we that, that tower is about 10 miles southwest, eight, eight to 10 miles southwest of our house. The spot we're in right here. It's only about 15 feet deep out here. Six and a half feet deep right here. Look at that. You can see the water like looking through glass almost. Blue glass. I think it's five feet. Okay, start now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we hope you enjoyed that little trip with us. There'll be lots more of those to come, hopefully. We just need to get settled in, yep. um, get the house fixed up and looking re respectable. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look respectable yet. <laughs> <laughs> Laurie wanted to show you film of the house right now. I said no. Not yet. We got to get our junk cleaned up <laughs> so we put it out there and you guys go, oh look, what a cute little place. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It'll be our keys yeah. cottage. Well guys, we, we hope you enjoyed riding along with us today. We, we kind of miss doing these videos. We're going to try to do them more often and uh, get you some beautiful shots on the water down here in the lower Florida Keys. So uh, until next adventure. All right. We'll see you next time on Gables on the Go. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>